So we're given a function that we want to rotate about the y-axis, and we want to find the surface area of that volume. The two possible formulas for surface areas of rotation about the y-axis are given right here. And since we are given a function of x, it probably makes sense to use this one. Since y is given as 1 plus 5x squared, dy dx is 10x. And if we plug that into the formula, we get the following integral. Notice that our limits of integration need to be on x, so we're just going to go from the given values of x equals 0 to 1. And one step of simplification should give us an integral that we can complete. Okay, unlike the last problem, we're going to be able to integrate this using the techniques that we already know. If we set u equal to 1 plus 100x squared, our du is going to be 200x dx. You'll notice that we have an x and a dx in this problem. And a small amount of algebra tells us that that x combined with that dx can be replaced with 1 over 200 du. Let's do that and let's see what this integral turns into. Two. All right, moving some things around and rewriting that square root as a one-half power gives us this integral right here. Um, there, I pulled the 200 out in front of the integral and reduced. Now, integrating is going to mean adding 1 to that power on u and dividing by that 3 halves, which is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. Oops, and we forgot about our limits. If we go back, we'll notice that our limits on x went from x equals 0 to x equals 1. And if we look at the substitution formula that we used right here, plugging in x equals 0, will give u equals 1, and plugging in x equals 1 will give u equals 101. So our limits of integration on this integral, we're going to go from 1 to 101. And now we're in a position where we can just plug in the upper and lower limits of integration. In this line, I also reduced the 2 with a 100, leaving a 50 in the denominator. Multiplying that 50 by the 3 gave us the 150. And we pretty much have our final answer here. If we recognize that 1 to the 3 halves power is just 1, this will be our final answer. Answer. That is the arc length of the given curve. So I am going to zoom out, and I hope that this video helped you. And if it did, I hope you watch the next one as well. I'll see you there.